Hey, what's up everybody? It's Frank again, and welcome back to my channel, 16 Bits or Higher. Last week, I went into the uh, R36S subreddit, and I saw a post that said that Yolux had posted an update for the R36S clone in his GitHub page. So I decided to pull out my R36S clone to do the update. So I remember that when I had the R36S, uh, I had already done an update to ArcOS. And I remember that I was able to connect the uh, Wi-Fi dongle onto the device and connect directly to, uh, to Wi-Fi. But yesterday when I was doing the update, uh, it was actually not uh, detecting any Wi-Fi signals, which means that the Wi-Fi dongle was not being recognized. So what I did next was connect it to my USB, the USB-C to Ethernet adapter, because that had always worked on that device. And I was actually able to connect the R36S clone to my network. So I decided to do uh, an over, over the um, network update directly from the options menu on the R36S. Well, the uh, update went through and after I finished doing the update, it turns out that the controls on the device were no longer working. Um, it looked like everything was mixed up. The D-pad was not responding. The up and down buttons were getting mixed between the uh, left joist joystick and the right joystick. And it was just crazy. I, I tried to do a bunch of stuff to get it to um, work again. I tried fixing the, uh, the settings on emulation station. I tried fixing the settings on uh, RetroArch and nothing worked. It got to the point that I had to go into the options menu and there's a link on there that allows you to change the uh, controller profile from an R33S to an R35S to an R36S and then you can also change it to an R36H. So I tried doing all that and nothing worked. The control, it got to the point where when I would turn on my device, it would show me that no gamepad was being detected. So I went to look closely to the uh, update and it turns out that when the update was completed, instead of doing an update to the newest operating system that's online, it actually went back and updated to uh, version 0.329. So what I did is I went back today again and I downloaded the new version, which should be I think it's 811 2025 if I'm not mistaken. And I did the update again. And after doing that update, it actually fixed it. And now it's working perfectly fine. So the point to this video is that if you own a clone and you're able to get online with the clone, don't do an update over the network. Instead of doing an update over the network, when you go to the options menu and you click on update, don't do that. Go directly to the website and flash a new card. But what I'm going to recommend is make sure that before you do that, before you delete the card that's already on there, if you're going to use the same card, make sure that you back up that card and save the DTB file. Okay. Because that DTB file, once you uh, flash the new uh, operating system to the new card, all you have to do is go in there and change the DTB file from the one that was working to the one that's in the uh, in the new uh, operating system. And that will make your your clone work again. Now, to be honest with you, after you after I ran the clone, I looked at the uh, boot folder and inside the boot folder, Aeolux actually has a bunch of folders in there where he gives you, I think it's five different panel uh, DTV files. So you can actually choose from those folders. 
But the truth is that if you save the one that already works on your device, if you save it in your computer and then after you flash the card, you just copy that one over, it'll work and you don't have to be trying from one to the other until you find the correct one. That's just in case you accidentally delete your card and you lose your DTV file. So be careful if you're gonna be doing the update on your clone. As uh, so of right now, after doing the update, the controllers work again and I'm gonna start testing it to see what else I can do with it because I noticed that Theme Master is not included. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, find a way to install it and make it work again. But as of right now, controllers work and it looks like everything is fine. And I will keep you posted again and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.